the concept of kalpataru is of wish fulfilling is there anything in kali yuga which can fulfill all your wishes and desires that is the seat of kolachar the seat of the time tested method of kali yuga that is kamakya tantra was developed for this particular reason that people you know this vedic sciences are believed to be you know better practiced by brahmins and so tantra was developed so that everyone in the world indians foreigners everyone those who are not from the brahmanical sect those who are who cannot get initiated into the brahmanical sect those who are not brahmins by birth can also worship for that tantra was developed and the seat of tantra is west bengal from where comes the most famous book of tantra durga saptashati and just above it is kamarupa kamakhya in asam as it is clear from the name kamakhya means whatever kamana whatever desire you have in your mind just by akshan remembrance of this goddess coming to that goddess those wishes gets fulfilled that is kamakhya devi if moon planet with moon moon sign lord planets in seventh to moon seventh lord from the moon sign is we in the horoscope in such cases devi sadhana i have seen takes a some more effort from your side whereas if there are strong planets with moon if the dispositor of moon is powerful if there are powerful planets and seventh from moon if the seventh lord from moon is powerful in that particular scenario the sadhana of devi the path of devi is quick result giving it is told in purana that tantra it is told in tantra kalau chandi vinayako in kali yuga devotion to goddess chandi and devotion to ganesha is the only way to go across kamakhya devi which is in assam is very beneficial for that particular matter that if you have a problem related to rahu ketu because she is also worshiped in the form of manasa so if you have problem related to rahu ketu rahu ketu or make a kal sarpa yoga in your horoscope is situated in 3rd 6th 8th 12th house of your horoscope you are going through bad dashantar dasha of rahu ketu or if you are going the dashantar dasha of planet situated in the 7th house and 8th house if you are going through the bad dashantar dasha of venus and mars if you are going through bad dashantar dasha which is making you feel helpless no help is coming to you if the kali yuga is eating you disturbing you then kamakhya devi is the only solace if you are into problem and you are not finding the way to come out of it if you do good with everyone but no one returns you the favor only bad is happening to you then kamakhya devi is your kamakhya devi is considered to be taken seven forms seven incarnations he has taken gupta kama shri kama vindavasani koteshwari vanadurga paddurga dirgheshwari and bhuvaneshwari in the form of bhuvaneshwari she is also a mahavidya and mahavidyas are known as karma phaleshu jushta whatever is the result of karma she can cut the cords for you the blessing of mahavidya can even turn the most malefic planet into benefit so when you go to mahavidya the karma is there the result of karma is there but the result of karma does not bite you like a snake as it normally do people who get the favor of devi go through bad karma smiling and the importance is not there that kamakhya is considered a mahavidya or one of the greatest mahavidyas in later times but the part is also this that it is the kamakhya devi temple of assam maya devi of ritwar and uh, this uh, ramachandi of odisha where you can find idols of all the 10 mahavidyas together just visiting them remembering them offering just one simple red hibiscus flower to them with a pure heart pure devotion and a sincere prayer can take you out of even the worst karmas that you may be experiencing every mahavidya is connected to one planet and worshiping the planet related to mahavidya is highly beneficial not only this because she is also known as vanadurga vanadurga is the reverse form of navadurga high spiritual aspirants also chant 
दुर्गा सप्तशती इन रिवर्स ऑर्डर वेर एज द नॉर्मल चैंटिंग ऑफ दुर्गा सप्तशती ब्लेसेज यू विथ थिंग्स प्रोस्पेरिटी मनी हेल्थ एक्सेट्रा रिवर्स चैंटिंग ऑफ दुर्गा सप्तशती सेव्स यू फ्रॉम नेगेटिव एनर्जीज सेव्स यू फ्रॉम मिसहैपनिंग्स एवरी वन कैन नॉट डू इट द रिवर्स चैंटिंग ऑफ दुर्गा सप्तशती यू हैव टू बी इनिशिएटेड फॉर दैट बट गोइंग टू कामख्या इज वेरी सिंपल she does not only blesses you but also saves you from any type of badha black magic any type of negativity that may be happening around you not only this she is also considered as lajja gauri lajja gauri is the form of goddess parvati where her uh, vagina is exposed her legs are spread apart it is believed that when shiva and sati were having a copulation someone visited them some god visited them hence devi got struck in this form and at the place of her face there is a flower kamakhya who manif- who is manifested in the form of a female reproductive organ in neenachal parvat in assam is also a manifestation of lajja gauri as those people who are having problems in their marital life who want children wholeheartedly but are not able to conceive they can go there get the blessings of devi and can get children also there is one very particular point if see supreme form of goddess bigger form of goddess like kamakhya works on the sastrar chakra agnya chakra and the upper chakras so the lower chakra of muladhar chakra that indicates sexuality and the chakra above that that indicates emotions if these are not balanced if there is uncontrolled sexuality or a moral thoughts related to sexuality or if there is a strong desire of hatred anger lust etc towards someone in that particular scenario what i have seen that going to devi kamakhya can prove like doing sadhana of devi kamakhya can prove negative for the people also so they should just visit the temple the temple is also corrective measure you go there and when you sincerely pray to devi that devi i am having such bad thoughts and i want to get rid of it she helps you into this also so going to the temple and praying to the goddess will also help you in this particular regard for that matter this is very very important but before you visit kamakhya devi in assam it is important see kamakhya devi is also considered a sakti peeth in every sakti peeth there is a shiva temple nearby shiva in the form of bhairav resides there and around kamakhya temple there is umanand bhairav the temple of umanand bhairav which you should visit after that you should visit devi kamakhya and for best result four temples should be visited like for devi there are 51 sakti peethas all over india in the same manner for major mahavidyas there are set of four to six sakti peethas where one should visit one after another to get their blessings these four sakti peethas this, sorry these four sakti peethas for goddess kamakhya is kamakhya in assam tartarani in odisha bimla devi in jagannath temple complex and kali ghat in kolkata going to these four temples in the single journey is highly auspicious and can even fulfill those desires which seems to be impossible if you are facing trouble because of any specific reason then in that particular scenario kamakhya is very helpful for you not only this any devi temple which is atop a hill like vishnu devi in jammu kanak durga in andhra pradesh such temples are very good for spiritual aspirants also so those who are hankering for kundalini jagran those who wish to take their spirituality to the next level those who want to transcend from one state of being into another state of being going to such temples of devi worshiping her chanting your ishta mantra there doing durga saptashati there is very useful in today's kali yuga goddess kamakhya is the one who is still living and whatever you wish they give the result no other god works as quickly as kamakhya this is the particular reason all the tantrics of bengal and assam are highly devoted to kamakhya devi and they will do nothing without invoking her kamakhya temple specifically is very activated during ambubachi the three days when the temple of kamakhya when the door of kamakhya temple is kept closed with a belief that devi is menstruating and the proof of it is that even the river of brahmaputra 
even the color of the waters of Brahmaputra River changes. In these three days of Ambu Bachi, generally people remain around the temple while worshipping the goddess. And on the third day, the temple opens and the prasad is distributed to all people. Visiting to the temple at this point of time is highly effective. And while taking the prasad, whatever wish you will have in your mind will be fulfilled. But those people who have strong emotions related to hatred, jealousy, etc. or those who have uncontrolled sexual desire should avoid visiting at this place. Even the Ratha Yatra of Lord Jagannath is deeply connected to Ambubachi Mela or Ambubachi festival rather than saying Mela, festival is a better word, right? Deeply related to Ambubachi festival. Even the autumn and Navratra is celebrated with much zeal in Kamakya Devi temple. So in autumn and Navratra, if you go there and just recite Durga Shaptashati once in the temple, or just to read Devi Kavacham in the temple, in the vicinity of the temple, or just to read Durga Saptashloki in the vicinity of the temple, these nine days will be highly transforming for you and any type of issue can be tackled by this. Kamakya is fulfiller of all desires. She is a young bride of Shiva. She gives a salvation. So whether you have any material desire, she will fulfill that. Even the desire of salvation, she fulfills. She is the only goddess who can do all these two things together. Even those people who are wishing to get married but are unable to find a bride. If they have good sexual conduct, they can go to Goddess Kamakya, offer her a red hibiscus flower and some sweets and they can ask their wish and generally what I have seen in one, one and a half year, they get married. Kam because Kamakya is a tantric temple, animal sacrifice is done there. Generally with, you know, people generally have modern thought, they don't believe in animal sacrifice, etc and they neglect such things, which rather invokes wrath of the goddess. So what is generally done? People who are not into animal sacrifice, they can take any juicy fruit such as cucumber, pumpkin, etc. They can take a knife, do a tilakam on that knife, thinking that this is the weapon of the goddess, and cut the cucumber or pumpkin into two pieces, leave one piece to the goddess, and take another piece as prasadam. In the same manner, when you visit Kamakya temple, you should take a coconut. Offer that coconut to goddess stating your wish and stating that I am in your service. Do a hearty prayer and break that coconut in the either in the Garbhagriha of the temple or anywhere around wherever you can find the place. Leave the half of the coconut there or put it at a side and take half of the coconut with you. Take it as a prasadam and this will be the fulfiller of wishes for you. Not only this, those who are suffering from financial issues, they should take they should take a coconut, break it. And then in between the coconut, after breaking it, they should put some gold coin, silver coin, or a little bit of money wrapped into a plastic or something so that it does not get spoiled. Then cover the coconut with something. Right? Or you know, just like put it over each other and tie it with this mauli that I have in my hands and donate it to someone in the Kamakya temple or leave it at the sanctum sanctorium of Kamakya temple with a sincere prayer that goddess, anything that I possess, I'm giving everything to you and you should further on guide me regarding my profession, business, money matters and to take care of me, to give me food is your responsibility. This should be done on Chaturdashi that comes before Purnima or before Amavasya and after Chaturdashi. If you do this on Kamakya temple, your financial issues are solved for once and for all. Kamakya is the particular place where Devi Sati used to retire when she wanted to have you know, physical intimacy with Siva. So when one goes to Kamakya, even when you visit who visit Kamakya with your family, even with your wife. Try not to have physical relationship in that period or in that travel, like you have left your home going to Kamakya temple till the time you come. If you are going there with a the prime purpose of visiting Kamakya Devi, avoid having any type of physical relationship, even with your spouse for the best result. Otherwise, for such people, what I have seen, those who make such type of relationships, their sexual desires go uncontrolled and their running behind their desires later on becomes very problematic. 
it is believed that when sati self immolated herself in the fire sacrifice of daksh shiva finding her wife dead became very angered started dancing with the corpse of sati with the purpose of destroying the whole world for the benefit of the world sri ban mahavishnu cut her body into multiple pieces with the help of her with the help of sudarshan chakra and her yoni the reproductive organ fell where kamakya is today so it is a devi peet this is sakti peet and when you go there the upsurge of energy you can feel yourself right so for those who think that their energy is struck somewhere right they are very much they are having much potential but not but are not able to express it or those who think that their energy is going into negative paths is doing them negative rather than doing positive they should visit to the temple of kamakya devi with a serious prayer and the result will be miraculous even those people who have major plans in chitra nakshatra bharni nakshatra those who have ascended in chitra bharni moon chitra bharni nakshatras they visiting kamakya temple and having a darshan of the devi there doing prayer to goddess witness miracles in their life do kamakya is a separate goddess but she is connected with kali also and kali is the destroyer of karma kali is the one who takes you away from maya so for salvation also and to have this discriminative power of what is good what is bad what i should do what i should not do visiting kamakya is very important visiting kamakya is necessary right in kamakya when you go to kamakya there are few mantras for kamakya devi that you should do in the sanctum sanctorium before going to the temple if you can remember these mantras this will be better right or even if you cannot go to kamakya temple you can just imagine the photo of devi get a printed photo of devi and meditating on that photo you can chant these mantras to get the blessings of kamakya devi first of all kamakya do see kamakya goddess have no form but she have taken an incarnation in the form of bhuvaneshwari right so this image can be worshiped you can meditate on this image to get her blessings or you can meditate on this particular image which is a replica of the idol that is as kamakya for her blessings you should only meditate on this image when you have a pure mind pure thought and controlled sexuality otherwise the first image is good while meditating on goddess kamakya what mantra should be done for goddess kamakya right the mantra that i will recommend you for goddess kamakya this is first these are the three mantra these are the dhyan mantra first is kamakya varade devi neel parvata vasini tvam devi jagan mata yoni mudre namostute this should be done while showing the yoni mudra this fingers in locked with each other these two fingers here and this thumb here this is yoni mudra while showing this this mantra can be done it is done for self purification it is done for being one with the goddess it is done for the purpose of grounding yourself this mantra with the yoni mudra gives you a direct connection with goddess the next mantra kamakya kam sampanne kameshwari har priye kamana dehi kamanam dehi me nityam kameshwari namostute this mantra can be chanted with a particular desire in your mind and when properly chanted with devotion your desire will come true for sure your desire will manifest for sure next mantra kamade kam rupaste sabage sur sevite karomi darshanam devya sarva kamarth siddhiye this particular mantra is to go into the sanctum sanctorium of goddess and chant or meditate on her photo and chant this is specifically useful for marriage related issues relationship related issues and also fulfillment of wishes and desires it can do if you have no desire at all you just want to get uh, you, you just want to uh, like witness the power of devi in your life you just want to have her blessings you just want to have a connection with her then this mantra of clean clean kamakya clean clean namaha will be very useful if you are planning to visit kamakya devi 
two advices i will have from i will have for you from my side so that the energy works perfectly with you and is beneficial for you the first thing is in tantra worship when i was initiated i was strictly told that first of all before doing anything related to devi the kavach of devi should be done so there is devi kavach given in durga saptashrti you should learn the chanting of that devi kavach and before going to kamakya if you can do 108 chanting of that devi kavach like it can be done one every day or seven every day type anyway 108 chanting if you have done of devi kavach before going to kamakya after devi kavach 108 chanting of durga shakti durga shakti shloki also right durga shakti shloki is a set of seven shlokas every shloka of shakti shakti is considered a mantra durga shakti shloki is a set of seven particular mantras from complete of durga shakti shakti so 108 chanting of devi kavach followed by 108 chanting of durga shakti shloki if you can do before going to kamakya temple then go to kamakya temple and in the garbh griha when you have darshan of the goddess chant any of the mantra from devi kavach while remembering the goddess it will surely give you the blessing of the goddess and with her blessing all your wishes and desires will come to pass